still camping out in the cold. The bus station in the Turkish border city of Edirne has been transformed into a migrant camp. Among the people here are many families, like Alia and her five children originally from Iraq. They tell us they were transported here on a coach paid for by Turkish authorities. The bus left us here by the side of the road. We didn't know where we were. Afterwards, we managed to go to the border and we waited until nightfall, but we couldn't get across. Now they want to drive us towards the river crossing, but we're staying here. We don't want to go to the river. It's too dangerous. I have a younger brother. There's five of us children and we're afraid. It's been a week now since Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan announced that Turkey was opening its borders to Europe and thousands of people poured into this zone. But for the families here, the uncertainty is greater than ever. Many feel frustrated, even in despair. We're on the road of no return at the moment. There are pregnant women here. They took the risk to come here and they have nothing to go back to. The states are committing a crime here, both Greece and Turkey. There should have been negotiations first. The gates should have been opened before all these people were brought here. But in reality, many are at the mercy of authorities on both sides of this border. We film as Turkish police tell the migrants to clear the camp, ordering them to head back to Istanbul or take their chances at the increasingly dangerous border.